Good morning, guys. I want to talk to you today about programming. I just want to start off with recommending another YouTuber, MPJ. I love his videos. They're well edited, well thought out, well expressed. Um, I encourage you to watch them. And I'm just going to share with you some stupid programming stuff from my perspective. Um, let's focus on a problem I had at work. Uh, it's simply it's just simply a file name that I need um, like file name renditions dash I just needed to increment that uh, to to two so the output would would look something like like this oh I am sorry that I can't really seem to get the, the font bigger I honestly tried if I'd make a bigger font st looks like that ugly so that's the output I I encourage you to learn shell because it's easy, it's portable, it's fast. So I do I do pretty much everything in shell. And like for for example, for me naturally in shell this this would be an easy problem. Like you know I would I would I would base name it. Uh, I like the base name in shell because you can just um, strip the suffix extension just like that. And then I would split using um, this ifs trick. So now um, renditions in dollar one and the numbers in dollar two, and then I would piece it together using um, printf, something like um, percent. What's the padding here? Zero uh, four d uh, dot ts. Yes. Uh, line ending, carriage return. Sorry, and then um, and then. Dollar two plus one. That should work. Let's see. I got it. I got what I want using shell. Um, I did notice that if you do something weird, like well, not so not so weird, things can go wrong. Let's see, it's gone one down there. So the more robust way to do it. Um, obviously, I'm writing a lot of JavaScript. I think mainly because of Lambda. But anyway, the more robust way to do it is using Go. I'm kind of go newbie. Um, and the way I initially wrote it was kind of maybe how I would write it in shell. I'm trimming and I'm doing a base name, I'm splitting, and then I piece it together with uh, with sprintf, which is uh, a bit ugly, uh, the way I was doing it, because I didn't know how um, to make the... Uh, since the digits can be variable, uh, digit length can be variable. But I just wanted to show you that I did sort of like, I don't know, refactor it. And I did, uh, add some comments. And I, and I finally even um, add some error handling. And I think that's the real mark between sort of a shell script and uh, a real programming language like Golang is that you, you do proper error handling. It's a more, it's more robust. Um, yeah. But I did also find it helpful that I was on IRC yesterday and I did ask um, about my Golang uh, stuff and I got a code review and that's so important. And I really encourage you guys if you're, if you're thinking about programmers, get someone to mentor or to, to review a code. To be honest, I struggle in Singapore. I really struggle. There's just no one seems to be around. So IRC is my is my best friend here. And this is my IRC client. I'm on the Go the, the Go Nuts channel is the one is, is the one to use. And I just thought it was really interesting to see um, what the what these guys how they address the problem. Okay, Golang, you know, my five line shell script became 50 odd lines of Golang. Um, but it's interesting to see, I find, and I'm just sharing it with you. I think it's interesting to see the Golang approach, like to define a struct or the prefix extension, the count, to also keep track of the digits. I also like um, the syntax I've never seen before. This, this way you can control the variability of the digits counts. I, I also like, I, I didn't know you could sort of do a carriage return and split down on this. So now you can conceivably have a comment there. Um, 
this guy uses uh, reg regex for passing the uh, file name. I don't really agree with that. It's like a new language, as uh, MPJ would say. Uh, I prefer to split or something like this. And this is how you do um, sort of an integer cast or something, because Golang is, is strongly typed, unlike, Go, um, unlike Bash. And um, yeah, I, I thought this was interesting. I mean, this is the right way to do it, I guess. Um, the next thing from another uh, community member um, does the same thing pretty much. Maybe the 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 um, the methods are a little bit more, and the naming is 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 quite a bit better. Also, I like the fact that he doesn't um, use regex to to uh, pass the file name. He uses last index, which is probably faster though I haven't put it to the test. Um, he does implement like an incrementer function, which is a bit overkill, considering that is exported. But yeah, um, I'm learning, so, and I encourage you to, to, to do the same. I, I, I just think it's interesting to see that it can, my, my five line script just morphed, uh, you know, this is the difference here. <laughs> My five line script uh, sort of morphed into a, a 60 line Golang program. But the Golang program should be faster. It's debatable. Shell is super fast too. Anyway, that's programming for you um, in my world. Um, if you know any good programming resources, um, especially when it comes to code review, code review, please let me know. And uh, please like and subscribe if you uh, enjoyed what I had to say. Cheers, guys. Have a good day.